Well, we purchased the AP Products Thin Shade. It has a, a built-in shade in it. And um, it replaces the existing window and frame in our trailer. Right now it's kind of like a fog glass. This one here is tinted and uh, they have options of tinted and clear. So uh, we went with the tinted to match the rest of the trailer. It comes with, this kit comes with this. Has a template if you need to cut an opening into your door on your trailer. And it comes with the tinted glass frame and shade and then screws. It's part number 015-201512. So here's what it looks like. It comes all nicely packaged. Here's the windows, the shade, and the screws. And there we go. Comes with instructions. Two sides. So I'm going to walk you through the process of installing it, but first I want to show you what I have on the trailer. So here's outside the trailer. Here's that smoke glass on a, one of my existing windows. Here's the door window, which it's like the fogged glass. I'm not sure if you can see it, the sun's on my lens. Right now inside what we do is my wife has this up here. It's a piece of fabric with on the four corners she has some Velcro holding it up. Let's go up here, grab it, pull it off, and that's what it looks like. So with this shut, go inside and look out so we could do a comparison after I install this to see what it looks like so there's what it looks like there's the other window so it's fogged so let's start getting this thing installed so what I've done outside is I've taped all the way around the window the frame to the door and to the window all the way around so when I unscrew the inside there's screws all the way around here when I remove those the whole window doesn't fall out onto the ground it stays attached to the frame and then I'll remove the outside and uh, hopefully don't break anything. So I'm going to remove these screws right now and this frame. So I've removed the inner frame from the door. Okay, there it is. 16 screws. Here's what it looks like around there. So now I'll slide it out through the front of the door. Take it out and I'll just have the opening. So I have the outside window removed. Everything's removed. Clean up all the edges here. There's some sticky adhesive along here. And I used um, Goo Gone. And it took everything right off. Then I cleaned all that off, the goo gone off with the Windex. So the window's removed. Now I'll start the installation of the other, the new window. Before I put this new one in, I've uh, taped the window to the frame. And then when I put it in place, I'll tape the frame to the door. I want to show you on this other side what we got here. So what they got, it comes with this sticky adhesive all the way around it, so you don't need to do any caulking around it. Also, uh, I'm not sure if you can see here. 
there's a adhesive here all the way around the uh, window to the frame similar to this stuff here so I'm gonna put this window in place so the outside windows on and uh, I'll tell you what when you put it in make sure you have it centered up exactly where you want it because once you set it in and you set it and you just push just a little bit that sticky adhesive all the way around it sticks I got it in place and I tried to slide it and it just won't budge so I tried peeling it up slightly and that was a challenge I did it very carefully and I moved it slightly pushed it in place so it's stuck up there I don't even think I need this tape on here to hold it in place so it fits in the opening nicely so now I'll go ahead and put the shade together and put it in place. Now setting the, the shade in place, the wider part is the top. The narrow part is the bottom. So this here is the inside of the trailer. So this shade will slide this little bracket will slide in this groove here. The handle here will go inside the trailer. So, they have that in place there. And they go down here and just pop this in place like that. So somebody mentioned on another YouTube channel putting a little piece of tape here to hold this in place. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not. I'm just going to maybe take a chance and put it in and see what happens. I might have to tape this slightly. We'll see. So there we go. Ready to go in. So I did put a little piece of tape here to hold it because it was kind of pulling forward. So I want it tight in place here when I go to screw this whole thing in. So this tape here, I can probably leave it on once it's in place because the window will come and hide it. So we'll see how that goes. I'm going to go put this window in and see what happens. So everything's in place now. Got all this in, pulled the tape off, cleaned it up inside here. Got it in. I found that putting this uh, on the inside here, got to line it up perfectly. And I started by doing two bottom screws, two top, and then these other ones went in easy. Um, these these screws are made to be screwed in tight they have a stop in them so you just you do it till it's snug and then the screws will be tight so what I did is I went around tighten them up and then I went around again I tightened it around three times and I got them really tight so everything snugged up really good um, the shade here this slides up and down when I first did this it was really hard to slide up and down so what I did was I I don't know if you can see in here there's a rope on each side it goes all the way down both sides here I rubbed some silicone on it uh, silicone spray and then work the shade up and down several times and then uh, now it slides up and down no problem so all in all I like it so far uh, what I'm gonna do is um, go inside so we can see what it looks like from the inside it's a big difference it's nice being able to see out and more light I have all the lights off in the trailer so it's dark in here 
Um, so, um, worked out pretty good. I'm going to take and close the shade. And then we can see what it looks like. So here's what it looks like um, shut. And um, I wish it wasn't so dark in here. Let me open this up again. There's another shade being sold out there where you can move with your finger a level, lever here and then it, it opens and shuts blinds this way. And it, when they're open, I guess what it does, it has bars. You can see bars through here. And then when it shuts, they're like that. But I wanted to have it completely open when we have the, the shade open and not look like bars. So uh, this is the route we went. So all in all, this project went very well. Um, and I think... Uh, is a big improvement to our trailer. I want to thank everybody for watching. And if you like this video and want to see more, hit subscribe and uh, the little bell and the like button. Feel free to leave your comments. I like to hear them and I usually reply to everybody. Um, I have several other videos you can watch too. And um, thanks for watching everybody and happy camping. Take care. Bye-bye.